This is a futuristic Lego car, and this is a classic Lego car. In today's video, we're going to look at different classic and futuristic Lego cars, and as the video progresses, the cars will get more classic or more futuristic. So let's dive in. Starting our classic cars off is the Pagani Utopia. And yes, I know it's not old or anything, and that doesn't make it classic, but I think this car embodies everything a classic car is and seems like the most modern version of what a classic car should be. And starting our futuristic is the Lego Porsche 963. If this didn't have a Porsche logo and Porsche badge on it, I wouldn't believe that this was a Porsche. It's so futuristic and smooth looking, it's quite the car. In fact, I think it qualifies as a hypercar. This classic car in a classic Corvette Stingray is just consistent. It's a fun build and it's iconic and it embodies more cars of where we're headed. A step up from our last futuristic car is the Aston Martin Valkyrie with this crazy rear fin that really sticks out and an interesting side profile and quite the rear wing on the back with these crazy exhausts. And then we've got ourselves the classic white Countach. This car is iconic as they come. I've taken the wing off mine and I think it was a good move because it gives off more attention to those crazy rear taillights. We can't also just ignore how crazy this red interior is. It really stands out on this all white car. Hopping back to the future, we got our Consineg Yesco. And man, I need to stop showing this car off because I don't like pronouncing that name or I need to get better at it. Anyways, this car's got a chunky look to it, but hey, it's gonna be an iconic car in the future. The Ferrari F40 is probably the most recognizable classic car I've showed so far. With that Ferrari side profile, this really well done rear with the triple exhaust, which is really cool and I didn't even know it was a feature of the car. And then it's got a great view of the rear engine there and quite a classy interior. And now we've got the McLaren Spaceship, I mean Solus GT. But really though, this car does look like a spaceship. It's got a cool rear design though, and off it goes. We got ourselves the classic Ferrari 512M from 1970. And this thing's got some bright gold wheels. It's shooting flames out of the rear, which is a little addition by me. And it's got an overall super clean and aerodynamic look. Definitely a classic here. Futuristic, yes. Awesome, maybe not. Aside from this giant wing, which puts the Valkyries one to shame. It's got some weird details of the front. I don't even remember if these pieces were something I added or not. And then it's got one of the most boring rear ends to the car I've ever seen. And our most classic car is the Ford Model T, which is over 100 years old and in literally the definition of classic. It's quite zippy and quite huge. I mean, look at it next to the Ferrari 512. It just dwarfs the thing. Then we got ourselves the Lamborghini Alligator or the Vision V12, which looks mean and green. It's got all sorts of curves and aerodynamic parts. It's got this interesting back design and a very unusual cockpit where the minifigure has to lie down. It's also got these cool exhausts in the back. So are you team futuristic or classic? I'm team classic on this one. <laughs> 